All right, Richard, joined by associate head coach Donnie Pritzloff. Uh, coach teams currently sits at 11 and 6, 1 and 6 in Big Ten. Two more duels coming up this weekend. What have preparations been like this week? It's been great. Last week was a really tough week. Uh, the guys trained really hard, and then I thought on Saturday we had a little bit of a letdown. I didn't think we wrestled super sharp, but guys got through it. You know, we got a team win. Uh, some guys you know, didn't wrestle uh, up to their ability, and then Sunday I thought. You know, most of the guys bounced back pretty well, and they, um, you know, we picked off two guys that you know we weren't supposed to win. We talked about that a lot. Beating guys we're not supposed to beat, and you know, 33 and 57. I think both of our guys you know, felt they were going to go in there and win, and they, they, they probably weren't supposed to, according to the rankings or whatever. But they, uh, they got the job done, and those were two big wins for for those guys individually and for our program. Put us in the lead, and then our upper weights just they didn't they didn't come through. Yeah, going back to that, how, how important was it for those guys, Delvecchio and Parati, to get two signature wins at this point in the season? Well, I think it's great. I thought both of those guys, they really pushed really hard last week. Um, the team overall, up and down the lineup, it was a tough week of training. You know, we had two days where we didn't do a whole lot. And then uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, they, there was a lot of volume, and uh, they, they pushed really hard. And then going into Saturday, we were a little concerned because you know, some of the guys hadn't responded like we wanted to. And then Sunday, those those two in particular, they really bounced back strong. And Kenny's been really solid, and Anthony got the job done against their guy. And um, you know, we, we felt good that, that those those guys had got those wins because I think it shows that as a program, we're we're uh, we're moving in the right direction. It gives confidence to the rest of the guys seeing them you know, pick off someone that maybe they're not supposed to, and uh, the guys can feed off of that and build off of that. Now, so far this season in Big Ten competition, every team other than Maryland has been ranked in the top 13. Uh, this weekend, you, you guys got a, a couple couple teams ranked, uh, you know, right around where you guys are. Um, what's the mindset heading into facing Wisconsin on Friday and Northwestern Sunday? Well, I think our, our guys expect to uh, to go out there. Another another road trip. We've been on the road, you know, a little bit in the last few in the last month, so uh, they're getting comfortable with that. They're they're getting used to the. Uh, the travel, so I, and I think these guys are excited to, to finally break through and get the job done. You know, we've been close. You know, I, I think it was a good win over Maryland, but I think we want we want a team win against you know one of the one of the founding teams of the Big Ten. So it would be nice to, to pick off Wisconsin and Northwestern and then really move into the, the, the postseason. You know, we still have two more duels, but moving to the postseason on a positive note because. You know, even even last Saturday, last Saturday and Sunday, you know, we win Saturday and we go we go five five split. It's nice to, to get a win and learn through winning. You know, instead of you know licking your wounds and trying to pick these guys up all the time. So it'll be, I think our guys are going out there with the hope and the optimism that we're gonna we're gonna get the job done and we're finally gonna you know win two big matches on the road and, and uh, you know get two more Big Ten wins. So I expect these guys to you know continue the training that we had today into tomorrow and then uh, we leave Thursday and you know we, we expect these guys to compete really hard. And lastly Wisconsin on Friday night obviously uh, someone someone who wrestled there won a couple mm -hmm. national championships there. Uh, and you've, you've coached against them in the past and uh, for other schools, but what's it going to be like going back there and uh, coaching against your own water? Uh, I think, you know, it's going to be, I mean, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't a more meaningful match to me. I mean, I want to go there and I want these guys to do well. I don't want to really make it any more special than it already is. I think these guys are excited. Some of these guys have some big individual matches. So, you know, I, I think it would be, It'd be awesome, you know, for us to go out there and get a big win on Friday night, uh, pick off some guys, you know, at certain weights where they're they're good and kind of put us in position to, to qualify some of these other weights and up our ranking and all that kind of all those kind of things. So, you know, and, and obviously, I, you know, you know anybody who went to a different school when you wrestle at school, you want to, you want to get them. So, you know, I I think uh, these guys know that we want this match and we want every match. So, it's uh. You know, it's, it's a different situation because I went to school there, but really, I mean, our guys are they're hitting their stride right now, and I think they're they're excited to compete. All right, Associate Head Coach Donnie Pritzloff. Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks.